So I have decided to create a master engine set for my Lego battleship. And this is something that you can do as well. And it's very easy to create. All I'm really doing is taking an engine and the engine itself could be taken from any uh, kind of toy or you can just buy it easily on the internet. Once you buy uh, this engine, you can put it inside whatever creation that you have and with it you're going to be sa saving a lot of money so you can buy potentially 10 different engines for the cost of one lego one that is officially came from that company so what you either have like 10 of them or one uh, my suggestion is to get 10 so what you could do you could either put uh, each of them in a different creation or you can actually take a few of them and create a 4x4 uh, craft or some kind of a 4x4 off-road vehicle just using Lego pieces. So let me hook it up for you to a 9 volt battery and you can see uh, what it can actually do. So check this out. This is just amazing uh, how fast this is spinning around. So it makes my attack helicopter looks so much more realistic now that it has a propeller that actually spins. Now, I know that the pieces are not really exactly built for the Lego itself. So what you have to do is a little bit of modification and then you can easily recreate your own Lego engine and the compartment you'll be using for it as well. So let me zoom in into the compartment. As you can see, the compartment itself is uh, very simply made and I made sure I used the most simple pieces that I could actually find. The reason I like to use the simple pieces is I want to make the compartment as small as possible. The reason I make this small is that it could fit into any of my creations and I don't want to have a huge compartment. You yourself, you can use whatever uh, ideas that you have and create your own idea. This is Legos. You create your own best ideas and you decide which one is going to work for you. And let me show you uh, some other ways of uh, putting it together. As you can see, uh, this is how I decided to create it. I'm showing you like different views of the compartment itself and how it is constructed so you can recreate your own uh, engine unit and if you can't recreate it or you can't find something to put inside the unit itself you can easily um, either find the lego piece it looks like the gear piece itself that you can use for, for the propeller or if it still doesn't fit in you can just use a sticky uh, sheet that you, you can see over there and we'll use that in a second. I'll show you how I'm going to actually use this sticky sheet and actually put it into the engine itself. So uh, this particular gear piece can go right into the Lego creation as well. So here it is. I'm taking this sticky uh, sheet and I'm, I'm going to use uh, this sticky note and I'm going to paste it right into the engine uh, spinner and after I do that, all I'm going to do is to stick the, this particular piece right into the gearbox. And with that combined, uh, I actually just recreated a cheap version of a Lego engine. And you can do the same exact thing uh, on your own creation too. And if this doesn't work for you, you can come up with some other, uh, your own method of doing the same exact thing so it doesn't really have to be built exactly how i'm showing it to you this is just my way of recreating uh, this idea but your way could be uh, more effective and totally different as well but if you do this for four different engines and you put them in a vehicle you can easily create a four by four uh, four wheel drive lego vehicle out of it so it could be a very cool uh, kind of creation that you can do as well so uh, this is just some ideas for you that you can do 
and recreate your own uh, regular electrical engine without having to spend like a huge amount of money on those uh, Lego engine parts because as far as I know Lego engine uh, they, they're very uh, expensive especially if you buy them even directly from Legos or if you buy them on eBay itself they're, they're every unit probably around like 50 bucks a piece and you can get those easily uh, for probably like three or four bucks per engine on eBay and you and it does exactly the same function so why spend the extra money when you can uh, do this instead and you can just hook it up just like this and it's gonna work wonders for you so here it is the, all you really need is the 9 volt the engine and those two cables and that's it and you are all set my friends uh, and that's all you have to do to enjoy your uh, Lego creation as well.